page here, this is just a quick review of actually what we did this summer. Okay, so this is a quick review. You're not going to have a bunch of homework over, over this. This is just a quick review to make sure that we're getting ready for now what we're really going to do. Okay? All right. Um, also, note. Oh, I think I have a. Um, no, that's the right one. No. Because yours says they won. Does yours, those of you who opened it up, wait one second. Those of you who opened it up on school, did you have day one? Yeah. Okay, well, why don't I? Oh, because I'm in alpha. Mm. Instead of A. That'll do that. Let's try this one more time. Okay. It's very similar, but there are some slight differences. That was all. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. All right, so. All right, so let's go ahead and start. Let's go through some information. Okay, horizontal line is called the what axis? X. X, okay, so I know it's kind of there, but if you can't tell what that is, X axis. You're going to have to know these parts of the graph now. Okay, what's the vertical line? The Y. The y. the y, good, so then the Y axis. All right, what is the inside most point here called? The origin. Origin, origin. and what is the coordinate point of the origin? Zero, zero, good. Okay, like I said, all review from the summer. Okay, quadrants. Who remembers quadrants? Um, is it at the, the top it goes? Zero, one, and then... is it, this is one? This is one? Which one's one? Oh. This one? Okay, she says this is one, and then where would two be? Oh, I mean, oh. after zero, there's one. Okay, but what I'm asking for is quadrants. Oh. Quadrants. You see the uh, far right is one, and then under is two, two, one, and then the other one under is two. So two. And then three, three, three four. Close. It's like oh, it's so one, real. two, it's, three, it's four. It's counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. So this right here is one, this is two, this is quadrant three, and four. Coming back to you a little bit? That's good. I don't know. Because they're hostile. I mean, I already got a number of the Pythagorean theorem. Oh, I know. I know. Other stuff. You mean we're trying to educate you and make you smart so you can think? What? And then they put this backwards. Damn. It's cool. Okay, mm -hmm. now we're going to graph points. Two, three. Who can tell me how you graph two, three? Two, three. Ashley, what do you got there? It's x and y, so 2 would be x on the x-axis, and then 3 would be on the y-axis. Okay, very good. So 2, 3, all right? So you go over 2 to x, and then your y is 3, so you're going up to 3 there. And we're going to go ahead and label that point A just, when you do lots of points on the same grid, we usually label them just so you can keep them all straight. Okay? All right, go ahead and do B, C, and D on your own. B, C, and D on your own, and then we'll take a look at them. Make sure you label them so you know which ones are which. Negative three five. John, where's negative three five at? Um, negative three five would be. I guess you go three to the left, mm -hmm. and then five up. Very good. So then you would have B right here. Okay. And then the next one, four negative nine. Link, where's four negative nine at? Oh, four to the right and down nine. Mm. Okay, so down nine. Good, so there be C. All right, and then the last one was zero, three. 
Great as zero three. What do you think that is? What's two zero five? Zero. Yeah, so in the middle. Okay. And then you go three. Go uh, three. Yeah. I did, I did that. You did that. I did do that. Uh -huh. Okay. So zero three, right? Zero means nowhere side to side, and then we're gonna go up three and call this D. Now, real quick, what quadrant is C in? C is in what quadrant? Four. Four. B. Two. Two. What about D? What quadrant one is D in? Three. Okay, I'm hearing one and two. Anybody else got a different different response? Huh? It's not origin because origin would have to be zero zero. It's B. No it's in no quadrant. That's right. So what's it on? The y axis. The y axis. So if I ask for a quadrant, then you just have to say y axis because it's not in a quadrant. It actually has to be fully in a, a spot for it to count. Okay. So in this case, if I ask you what quadrant D is in, you would just say it's on the y axis. It's not in the quadrant. Okay. All right. Any questions on how to graph coordinate points? Okay. And just kind of keep in mind that we are talking about an x y point, right? Okay, so x, y, so you move side, go side to side and then up and down, okay? All right, so now let's get to the next page here. This is where we're really going to be picking it up, okay? So what we're going to do now is you're going to be looking. <coughs> we're going to be given an equation. We're going to be, you're going to be supplying a table, okay? And your job is to get the points on the graph over here. Now, how do I come up with these y values? What are we going to do to come up with the y values, Maddie? You have to plug in the x with the number Good. to get the y. Good. So you're just going to take this and plug it in, okay? So the first one, I've got negative 2 times, and in place of x, I'm going to plug in negative 2 plus 5. All right, so what do we have there? What do we end up with there? Nine. Nine. Very good. Negative times a negative, positive four, plus five is nine. Okay. All right. Now do the next one. Negative two times negative one, plus five. Six. Seven. Two plus five is seven. Oh. There you go. Okay. So plug in the next one. Negative two times zero, plus five. 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 Good. Five. Negative two times one, plus five. Okay, what is negative 2 times 1? Negative. negative 2, right? Negative 2 plus 5? 3. How about positive 3, right? Don't you have more positives there? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was a little rough, guys. Alright, let's try the next one. Negative 2 times 2 plus 5? One. 1. Very good. Negative times positive 2, right, would be negative 4 plus 5 would be 1. Okay, is everybody good there? Okay, so now negative 2, 9. Negative 2, up 9. Okay. Graph the points. You're going to graph all five points now. Negative 1, 7. 0, 5. 1, 3. No, not labeling, just putting in the points. And then 2, 1. Okay, so this is what you should have right now. All right, so now you are going to connect your dots. Um, those of you using your iPad, I know that the iPad has a cool feature like where you can like drag it and make it super straight. I'm not exactly sure. Like you hold it or something. I can't remember exactly how to do it. For those of you who have a uh, paper pencil, I will be supplying you with rulers on the day of quizzes and tests. There are rulers you can borrow at any point that you want to, okay? But we will have nice straight lines on your test, okay, and quizzes. Arrows need to be on both ends. These lines go on forever, okay? Now, we're going to be talking about linear versus nonlinear. Does anybody know what linear is?